Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, okay. Expat Rebel Chris from expatrebel.com. And I'm here to show you today what they did for my Mexican beach home renovation. What's going on? What they did today. Hey, look, my new sunglasses come in Merida at H&M. There malls and everything there. But let's go back to the pool. I thought I'd show you a perspective from our living room floor. Which and what they did, they, they laid the full stone, my criminal stone, almost all the way around today. They kind of finished it. They're not doing the curve, as you can see. They're leaving those spots blank because, well, because uh, we may need to get some additional stone in a different shape. Also, the stone guy, where we bought all this stone from, is specifically coming here in a couple of days to just do this island here because uh, it's going to take some specialty size uh, stone that they don't usually do. We are thinking about, we, we are going to have along the, along the oh, sides, upper sides, uh, some tile done. It's a Venetian tile effect. It's uh, various shades of blue, basically. Um, it's our favorite uh, tile, little small tiles. They're, they're various blue. And we're thinking about doing the tile just over the top of this island. The, the middle around the, our favorite palm tree here. Um, is of course, going to be a free so that it can get wild. The roots go like straight down. They don't actually go very wild. So this is fine. So that's going to be, you know, still you know, dirt and everything. But the sides here, we see the concrete. We're thinking about just doing tile instead of stone. So we're going to look into the price difference and, and then think about its style, whether we really like that or not, but, um, kind of leaning that way. We had the discussion in the ocean. We went for a swim this afternoon, I took a walk on the beach in the morning and then me and my honey got in the ocean and we're swimming around discussing the pool and we were thinking about maybe just doing tile blue as kind of an accent around this little uh, palm tree island. <clears throat> so. That's the status today. Get some feedback on our little uh, pool filter house right there. Uh, that it may actually be too small. It's barely big enough to, to hold the filter machine, machinery, but no chemicals. And so we're going to ask them, we've asked them today to make it bigger. And we might have to take a wall out in order to do that, but it's just not quite really big enough for what we need to uh, do that. I don't want to stick, you know, a little cute pool chemicals in another part of, of the house. I want them, I want it to be all be in there, you know, so that me or our caretaker have easy access to the pool chemicals. So that's one change we may make in that. And what was it for the day? It looks like they're going to need to finish this engine first on the island before they should comb the actual pool. So it looks like the shikuming of the pool, the finish, concrete finish, is definitely going to be delayed probably a week before they do it because the, that needs to be completed before, um, at the very end, and then fill it full, once it dries, full, uh, full water. And they're going to be doing the stonework and everything. They're going to be in the pool, walking around. We still have the, the bar benches to finish as well. And so that needs to be done. All well, trimming needs to be done before they do the shakum concrete finish. And then uh, the tile that goes on the sides, so it could be done at any time actually, but, but that's looking like it. So I think still, we're probably still a couple of weeks away. From it being uh, finished, um, but the shakum is going to be the last. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Uh, if you got a comment, positive, go for it. Appreciate those. You got a, a question about doing a, a home renovation here in Mexico or especially on the beach, go ahead and give me a comment. I'll answer you either with another comment back or a video. And make sure you subscribe. So. You get all their videos and hit the bell notification so you don't miss it. Even more follow as soon as they come out. I am vlogging almost daily. Basically, if anything, very noticeable changes. 
or vlog about it. And I'm um, very happy to uh, answer any questions that you may have regarding doing this. So I, I've never done this before, how a custom made pool. Well, one of the things that are that being custom made here is it's been fun because they're real craftsmen and they know exactly what they're doing. It is really kind of a pleasure to watch them be really good at what they're doing. And basically, you know, take our feedback on the pool and, and, and tweak it to be exactly what we want. And it's like, this is like the ultimate pool for us. It's, it's amazing. And it's a lot of fun, but all right. See you guys next time. Bye.